Thank you so much for staying with Sunrise. He started his visual arts business fresh out of high school to make a living despite not furthering his studies in visual arts formally. He was able to collaborate with other artists to stage exhibitions and carry out commercial art projects. So let's welcome this Yankee Yip. Yankee. Ah, uh, Yankee Yip. Muralist and fine artist to, to share more. At least I got, got close to it. Good morning and welcome to Sunrise. Um, I, I want to, us to make a distinction between uh, murals and fine art and how closely related they are. Okay, so I guess it's easier to just say what murals are. Yes. Because fine arts ranges right, right. across the spectrum. From sculpture to painting, you name it. Yes, so murals are simply paintings on walls. Mm -hmm. Social commentary. Yes. Yeah, and all of that. Beautification. Yes. Of the downtown Kingston, wherever it is that we do murals. Yes. And so you've been involved in all of this. Talk to us about why was this such a a critical area that interests you? Well, I actually did murals since high school. Oh, really? Yes. I did a mural for Peace Day. I did one for my graduating class. And I was introduced to it because of different events. I think there was a point when there was a clash between my high school and the neighboring high school, Spalding's High. Uh -huh. And they wanted to resolve the issue. So they came up with the idea of a Peace Day mural. And I was a part of that. And that was very useful. And also, having gone to Knox College, mm -hmm. the auditorium is furnished with many murals. Murals, yes. So that influenced me early on. And I remember this piece that my art teacher did, mm -hmm. Perspective of Cubes coming from a checkered design. And I think that's where it really initiated. Interesting. Well, we'll talk about the pieces we have on display this morning. You painted at least four of the 21 murals at Sabina Park. Yes. How did that open a window of opportunity for you? Well, I'd like to say that was the genesis for yeah. murals yeah. for me in Kingston and becoming a muralist officially mm -hmm. beyond high school. Um, I was invited to be a part of the project by a friend of mine, mm -hmm. calls himself Towson, Anthony yes. Smith. Right. And he invited me to be a part of the project. There were four other artists and did some sketches, you know, started the process. Having not gone to Edna Manley, mm -hmm. I was a bit behind the pack, I would say, honestly. Yes. You know, they were more seasoned, you know. But mentally you were strong though. Yes. Yeah. So I determined that, you know, I would learn from them, mm -hmm. you know, at least pick up a few things here and there. And, you know, a few months later, Carib Cement Project, mm. I was a part of that, and that triggered a chain reaction of, you know, what people happens wanting after that? Yes. murals. Yes. Right. So let us start with that fine art piece is there, or piece over there. Um, talk to us about that, and it's very, very interesting. I mean, explain all of that is happening there. Well, most of my pieces are based on personal experiences. Right. So it's this is where fine art meets mural. This is where fine art yes. meets Yankee. Oh, okay, <laughs> meets Yankee, okay. Right. So, I had a few hiccups mm -hmm. the, since the first quarter of 2022, leading back to about September. Going through a few things, mm -hmm. you know, making plans, ended up having accidents, literally. I lost a car, right? Um, and I had some difficulties, but at the same time, I remember myself for being the strongest mindset mm -hmm. that I usually have. And I decided to express that on canvas. I didn't have a plan in terms of what I was going to paint. Mm -hmm. Started painting, had a few references, maybe a picture here and there. Right. Right. So this reference is, this reference was for, from a picture that I took on the day mm -hmm. that I started. And this was from a picture before. Mm -hmm. I'm not that muscular. So, so this, uh, what I'm getting is contemplation with your back against the wall. In one context. In one context. So it's What's called, context? it's <laughs> called duality. Ah. A man and his mind. Yes. Right? What it shows is the state present reasoning with the state before. Essentially reminding yourself 
that you are strong. You can do this. And reminding yourself of the things you've already experienced mm -hmm. and the fact that you can become that and more mm. if you really choose to. Very powerful. Yes. But within that, the answers will come. Interesting. Interesting. Heavy. Not many people can receive that. Yes. Yes. And this one, persistence, excellence, and authenticity, and consistency. Talk about this particular piece. This piece was done, or at least started in 2019. Mm -hmm. It's an ongoing piece. I actually do a little athletics. I sprint. Ah. I did that in high school. Yes. I did that at college. And I love it. You know, some mm -hmm. persons love football. Some persons love basketball. I love sprinting. I, I train seriously. Mm -hmm. And the piece shows some elements. There are some other elements here. They're called the platonic solids. So these are mathematical um, geometric forms mm -hmm. that have been studied throughout years. Now they represent the elements, the five elements, as they would say, yes. earth, water, wind, fire, etc. Yes. But at the same time, I use them because they represent principles. Ah. And principles remain constant throughout everything. It doesn't matter what you do. So for me, it's like sprinting. I choose to train for sprinting, but I know the things that are required. I need to be consistent with training. I need to be persistent when the time comes. I need to strive for excellence. I need to be authentic, and listen to my body, principles. and I have to be disciplined, which is the fifth word yes. in the middle. Nice. Right. So you said this is a piece in, in, to be continued. Yes. What next to be added? It's constantly being refined. Yes. And what is the overall story? The story is that I started this piece mm -hmm. when I started training seriously. Right. I always run, you know, but I started training seriously and I decided to embed that in a piece which is a constant reminder. So uh -huh. it's a reflection for me. Every time I see this piece, it should remind me of the qualities that I need to So you will constantly work, on, work at it as you go along? Yes. All right. And then this piece, All right. what are we telling here? What story are we telling? Okay. So this piece is called Third Heart. I mm. started it early 2022. Third Heart. Third heart. But then I realized that this is pointing to the third eye. Ah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So there are three systems. Mm -hmm. You have the mental system, mm -hmm. at least in my understanding. You have the subconscious system. And then you have the emotional, automated, mm -hmm. hormonal system. So the locations are specific. Mm -hmm. The mind, the heart, and the gut which is usually intuitive, etc. So it's all about balance. Yeah. I'm smiling because all of this, these are in alignment with the chakras. I've been told that. It wasn't intentional. Yes. Yeah. The base chakra there. Yeah. The heart chakra, the third eye, and the crown chakra there. Okay. Very, very interesting how you your own understanding of your own realities yes. just fit directly with perhaps the, the cosmic energy, I would like to put it that And that's, that's actually a term I use to express mm -hmm. what I'm going for in terms of showing the works. Ah. Yes. And also, there's a little science yeah. involved and math more than anything else, mm -hmm. actually. Because I've been studying these forms as a former biochemist student. Yeah. You know, I understand that structures, you know, molecular level, they have angles, orientation. And then there's this guy called Nikola Tesla, you know. He said, if you understand energy, frequency, and vibration, then you can unlock the secrets. True. You know, the technology we're using, all these developments, AI, etc. Mm -hmm. It's all about you know, tuning into those powers, those mm -hmm. available sources. Yeah. So, so now, where are these displayed? And is there a cost associated with a piece like this? What does it go for? If the price is right, yeah. I will sell it. Otherwise, I really do commissions. Yeah. 
So if you have a concept or if you have something that's important to you, yeah. I will create a piece based on that. Nice. But these pieces were created from central space. But I said, if the price is right, yeah. I can sell them. But, but even if the price is right, it's somewhat difficult to let it go. Yeah. If the price is right. <laughs> All right. What's next for you and how can people follow your work? Okay. So I recently launched a website. Yes. So it's yankuyip.art. And you can follow me on Instagram at Yankuyip Art. Um, the next step is to do more work, murals especially. Mm -hmm. And we have a few on, on, on screen now. Yes. Right. Internationally, you know, a group that I'm a part of now, mm -hmm. my friend Jordan Harrison and Anthony Thousand Smith, you know, we want to take mural creation to the highest level. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our eyes on buildings like Air Jamaica building. I was saying that wall is nice, you yes. know. Welcome people to Jamaica Absolutely. by presenting something beautiful there. And taking, you know, ourselves internationally, mural fests all over the world there and bringing the flag of Jamaica. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I can appreciate your work and I appreciate it really um, deeply because of the connection that all the pieces have the story or the stories they tell, in particular that one and this one. That one is work in progress, but I understand where you're going, where that is concerned. Yes. Thank you so much. How can people reach out to you? 812-7148. Uh, yes. That's my business number. All right. Yes. All right. Thank you so much and all the very best. Thank you. All right. Stay with Sunrise. We continue. After this, we'll be right back.